Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that Eric and I got at the last couple of yard sales that we have gone to. This was over a period of two weeks. Uh, the first week we went there was snow. Uh, we went to a church sale and they ended up um, having it again the following week because not everybody obviously showed up encounter the weather and then the following week after that there was another um church yard sale so i'm going to share with you the things that we got at those places some stuff has already sold and i'll pop that up um so i can let you guys know what the stuff sold for and then after i share all of that stuff i am going to throw in some other recent ebay listings to clear off my table a little bit which is still kind of full. <laughs> so let's just get started. Um, the first two items, I'm just going to pop up alongside me because these already sold. Um, in the footage video, you saw Eric had found two Furbies. These weren't sealed in their boxes, but they still did come with their boxes. We paid $2 a piece for them. Uh, the first one was of a giraffe and we paid, like I said, $2 for that and it sold for a uh, buy it now of $49.99. And then the other Furby was an owl. Again, paid $2 for that, and it sold for $49.99. So definitely, Furbies are a good thing to pick up. Um, I would pick them up even if they weren't in their boxes, uh, but obviously, if they're sealed or come with boxes, they will probably be worth a little bit more. Uh, okay, let's see. Eric found this at the church sale. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a very heavy... Um, it's a votive holder. You would use this um, for a candle, but obviously, like, you could use it for, you know, just like a decorative kind of, like, paperweight. It's super heavy. Beautiful swirled design in there. Um, nice glass piece. This is marked Costa Boda. It is, um, it is Swedish glass. So, we got this. Um, paid just 50 cents for this. Um, and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. Also, I found this piece. This piece was not marked, however, um, but it was really cool. Again, on the heavier side, it is a blown art glass. This is actually a pen holder. You could probably use it, um, you could probably put like an incense stick in there as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's a pen holder. It has this really cool like corkscrew um, design to it. And we paid two dollars for this one which is weird that this one costs more um and i put this up as a buy it now for twenty three dollars and ninety nine cents on a box of old toys called micronauts these were from i believe the 70s they were by mego um we had never neither of us had heard of them before but um the whole entire box was just three dollars so we decided to take a chance on it. Eric did look it up while we were at the church and he was seeing some pretty high prices for only paying $3. So this first piece we listed separately, this is a figure and it did have, I'm just going to show it like this so I don't lose all the pieces. Um, it wasn't actually like sealed still to the card, but it did actually still have its original um, card to it. So that's what that looks like. And then... It is complete. This is the figure and it comes with all of his little um, accessories. So $3 and I'll show you the rest of what was in there. Um, we put this figure on auction with a starting price of $199.99. Um, these figures were selling very, very well. Uh, ones that were still sealed even more than that. So definitely a great score there. And then the rest of the box all came in this. And there was more than just this, um, what they call battle cruiser in here. I'm actually gonna pop up a, a picture beside me so you can see better. It'll be easier than opening this and having half of it fall out while I'm trying to talk about it. Um, so anyway, we listed the rest of them on auction with a starting price of $129.99. So that was a great box. Um, 
both of those, the figure and this box full of goodies, has quite a number of watchers. So hopefully we'll at least get our starting price uh, for them, but we'll see. I decided to pick up this little South Park plushie of Stan. Um, I forget how much the plushies were, maybe like a quarter or 50 cents. Um, some South Park items definitely seem to be selling pretty well. Uh, but this one here I did list as a buy it now for $16.99. Probably wondering about those mermaids I was carrying around. That was the first thing I found. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely amazing. Find of the day. I will show you each one individually. These are by Lefton and they are just ceramic wall mounted um, hanging mermaids. So we have this one here with a harp. We got this smaller one here holding a little bubble. And then we also have this one right here. So the whole set, $1.50, guys. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. That was amazing. Such an amazing score. Uh, had I not, had Eric and I not been the first ones through that door, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have gotten them for sure. So $1.50 for those, I put them up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. They do have quite a few watchers and those definitely do sell. Typically this church would have a decent amount of clothes for whatever reason they only had like a very small rack of clothes which is fine because I'm like meh about clothes lately but I did find this really cool vintage Nike tracksuit. Pretty sure this is from the 70s, um, just based off of the tag. Uh, these are a size large matching set. Literally look new without tags. So there's a blue zip up um, jacket and then it was a pair of matching um, sweatpants. So both size large. I paid $3 for this set and I don't have what I listed it for. So I listed this um, on auction with a starting price of $99.99. It does have, I think, three watchers. So we'll see where that goes. At another church, this was at the um, church where it's, um, we went to when it snowed. Uh, I got this clock there. I paid $5 for this. The lady said it was Garfield, but it's not actually like a licensed Garfield piece. This is a lot like that rhythm clock I had sold a while back. Um, it was a cow and when the alarm went off, it would moo and say, don't sleep your life away and stuff like that. Well, this isn't by Rhythm, it's by a company called, I think it was Selena. Anyway, these um, were listed fairly high. Um, and then when this alarm goes off, it, there's like a really loud, obnoxious um, bugle sound that, that comes out of it. I mean, if you look at my, um, I have a little bit of a video of it on my auction listing of this. Anyway, I paid $5 for it. And guess what I listed it for? <laughs> I put it on auction with a starting price of $99.99. There is one other one listed, but I feel like theirs was missing the battery cover. So we'll see about that. Okay, next sale. I found a pair of vintage um, kids Oshkosh bib overalls. These ones are kind of like a pastel teal corduroy and they have little bunnies on um, ice skating. So these are old. Um, I sometimes get questions asking how you can tell which ones are vintage and most of the vintage ones you'll see will have um, a tag that looks like this. This is a union tag so there should be like one of these somewhere on the the outfit. I mean not necessarily I mean someone could have like cut it off for that kind of thing but that's that is a dead giveaway um, where like how to tell if one is vintage. So I paid one dollar for these they are a little bit um, faded from, you know, wear, from wearing, but these still sell pretty good. I listed these as a buy it now for $49.99. I got this, um, this is an older pink Eden plush bunny rabbit. It does make kind of like a 
squeaky noise um, when you shake it. But it did still have the original tag, which was nice. Um, I wasn't sure what to ask for this. I put this up. I paid 50 cents for it. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. If it doesn't sell, I'll put it up as a buy it now. I don't know if I'll put it up as a buy it now for that price or if I'll come down a little bit. So you guys saw I had, I was going through um, this Ziploc baggie of just random stuff. I paid a dollar for this. I had seen a Lisa Frank pen in here and some older Fisher Price, actually I think it was Play School, um, dollhouse furniture pieces. And then there was some other stuff as well. I didn't list everything in here. I'm still like going through it and whatnot. There was also a pink tennis ball in here that I gave to my dog and she absolutely loves it. So I'm not really gonna go through that bag. I'm just gonna show you what I've listed so far from that bag. Uh, the first thing I listed was all of these older Barbie pieces. This would have been for the Barbie Pizza Hut or Pizza Party um, play set. There's like a, a tray with some pizza slices, some Pizza Hut cups, and like the pizza cutter and stuff like that. Uh, I listed this as a buy it now for $12.99. Then like I said, there was a Lisa Frank pen in there. So this is a vintage Lisa Frank pen. Um, Neos, this does still write, which is nice. Um, so I listed that. Anyway, I listed this for buy it now of $18.99. I think there was only one or two other of that um, specific looking pen listed, and I think they were priced higher than that. One of the things that was in that bag already sold, I'm going to pop it up over here. This was a Little Tykes dog, pet dog for the Little Tykes dollhouse. Um, I listed that as a buy it now for $15.99 and it already sold. So that was a great dollar, well spent, plus I have other stuff in the bag to list. I was also at one point in the video looking through a box of pens and I was talking about um, the pens that have the pharmaceutical, like things that doctors would have, like, you know, they get for free um, in the doctor's offices for, you know, prescription drugs and stuff like that, just like promotional type items. Some of that stuff can sell really well. I actually found this. This was for um, a promotional item for Vioxx, which is actually not on the market anymore. I think like people died using that uh, medication, which is always scary when it comes to medical stuff. Uh, but this here was kind of like, um, I mean, obviously it was like a promotional item, but it was like, um, it comes with scissors and bandages and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Sometimes the stuff sells though. People, people do collect this type of stuff. I paid a dollar for it and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I was seeing the scissors alone selling for like 12 bucks. So this was like the whole set still brand new found this older Sesame Street blanket sleeper. This was still sealed in its original bag. This is so cute. It says tea party all over it with like little tea kettles and tea cups. So that is for a size 12 months, still sealed. We paid $2 for this and I did list this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Next item, I'm gonna pop up over here because it's a lot of stuff. Um, I found it like a whole box full and I decided to just list it all together as well. This is a big old lot of Stampin' Up um, stampers and that type of thing. Um, I was looking through them and there are at least one or two um, stampers in here that are worth about 20 some dollars just by themselves, but I decided to list it all. I paid $5 for all of them. And I put them up on auction with a starting price of $49.99. So that right there is worth just two of the packages. So whoever buys them is getting a really great deal. I got a great deal on them as well. I took this um, stone elephant. I was drawn to him. Um, he does have his trunk raised and nice stripe look to him. He is like a heavy, heavy stone material. Uh, pay 50 cents for this guy. And I listed him as a buy it now for $12.99. Okay, I think that concludes the yard sale stuff. So we're going to get into some random things that I have listed recently. 
Uh, the first thing being this oyster plate. This is amazing. This is like a Majolica style oyster plate. I won this at an auction for a bid of just $20. I saw this same oyster plate sell um, for $299. I listed mine as a buy it now for $279.99. So really unique one. I've never seen one that, you know, is shaped like fishies there. <laughs> so really cute. Um, no markings on it though. So we'll see if I can get that for mine. Uh, next item I'm gonna pop up actually already sold as well. I got this at an auction. This is a Fitz and Floyd, um, Easter ceramic basket. There was a rabbit on the side. I paid a dollar for that at the auction and it sold as a buy it now for $29.99. Those were selling um, pretty frequently for around that price. Some actually were selling for a little more than that. This next item I'm going to pop up to, I don't actually have this listed. We listed it locally on Facebook Marketplace just because it's huge. We won this like extremely large wicker like Easter basket filled with old um, Easter egg blow molds. Absolutely amazing, right? We paid $50, $54 for that. So we have it listed currently on Facebook Marketplace. I think Eric has it listed for $200. Um, we thought it would be really cool piece for any like local photographers to use as like a prop, um, like an Easter themed prop. Um, so no one has shown any interest quite yet. Um, there might come a point where I may list just the blow mold eggs on eBay. Um, they do sell themselves pretty well on eBay. So you know, at some point they may end up on eBay. But as for now, we're gonna try Facebook Marketplace. I got this recently at the auction, this really beautiful um, Native American vase. This is actually signed by the maker named Jess Longsing, um, Navajo. It's marked 2006, so really beautiful vase. Hummingbird there on the side, just absolutely gorgeous. I paid just $5 for this vase. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $59.99. Okay, next thing I'm popping up to because this thing is big and heavy. Oh my gosh, I had to hold it while Eric was taking pictures and it was just killing my fingers. Eric bid on this at the auction. He looked it up and he was just kind of like, I don't know, I'm taking a chance on it because it was only $1 he, he paid for it. It's this... Um, very large <laughs> hot air balloon. It's made of this really heavy, like thick resin material and there's like clowns in a basket hanging out of this hot air balloon. One dollar for that. He listed it for um, on auction with a starting price of $89.99. The other ones that are listed are just listed outrageously high. I think someone has one listed for like $2,000. They're out of their dang mind. Um, but he just decided to take a chance on it for a dollar. Surprisingly, some of these weird <laughs> clown um, figurines and decorations and stuff do sell. People do collect clowns. Who are you? Is there anyone out there collecting clowns? Why are you collecting clowns? No, I'm kidding. Everyone collects something different. Um, I never understood the clown fascination, but you know, to each their own, right? I mean, I collect some weird stuff myself, so it's understandable. Next item I have is a Lennox. This is called the Nativity Lighted Glass Ornament Ball. I'm actually gonna post a picture of this one as well because it lights up really pretty, changes different colors, um, nice little LED going on there. Paid $1 for this, and we listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. This guy also came from the auction. This is by Cloth Teak. Some pieces by Cloth Teak can sell pretty well. This is pretty specific. It's Santa Claus dressed up like he's going bowling, which is really cool. Uh, anyway, we paid $2 for him, and I did put him on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Okay, this next item I got, I thought it was really cool that it was kind of like probably in the original box it came in. It was like a gift shop. But this thing is so adorable, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's a piggy bank, a ceramic piggy bank, and it has a kitty cat on with her little kittens. It's very 
kawaii to me absolutely adorable and it is marked it's by a company called ebling and roost it was made in japan it's marked 1983 on the bottom and it still has its stopper i mean it's in beautiful condition i paid one dollar for this at the auction and i put it up as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 um okay these next three items are all the pretty much the same thing um i'll get one out to show ya these are by crazy mountain there's three of them they are little ceramic um like votive holders there's a candle in each of them and they're new they still have their tags attached with a little snowman um print on two of them have the same print and one of them is different but i listed them all together for a buy it now of twelve dollars and 99 cents and they probably came on a tray of other stuff that we won same with this purse it just came with some other stuff we won this is a sack purse it's like a gray with silver um, threading it entwined throughout it. But it is by the sack. I decided to list it. Um, I put it up. I actually put it up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. If it doesn't get any bids, I'll just put it up as a buy it now for that price. This is an older toy. This is from the 80s. These were called Sweet Secrets. If any of you guys remember Sweet Secrets, they were dolls. Um, these ones here you could wear as jewelry. Like there was a clip on the back and then there was like a bracelet. You could wear them as a bracelet. There were some you could wear as necklaces. And then some of them had like makeup in. And they all just kind of had like secret type compartments and that type of stuff. Anyway, people do collect these. Um, I had one a box full of... Um, toys at an auction and these were in there that's why I wanted the box um, I listed this as a buy it now for $35.99 and that's what she was consistently selling for and she does have a couple watchers so I have a feeling she'll go for that price at some point this is random I wasn't even going to list this I was just gonna like throw it in like a yard sale pile but I decided to put him up because he's really cool I mean he's probably like you know, not very old or anything, but it is um, like a Grim Reaper Halloween decoration. He's got a like suction cup you can hang him by. Ooh. He's got some chains there that he's holding. I don't know. I just decided to list him because I thought he was cool. Um, put him up as a buy it now for $12.99 and he came on a tray at the auction. Same tray I had got that um, maggot toy on the Jemmy maggot next item is actually a tiffany and company mirror not mirror i'm lying to you a picture frame it does have its little dust uh jacket and it is sterling it needs polished it's not you know in pristine looking shape there definitely needs a a polishing i won this at the auction a while back i can't remember what i paid for it now um it wasn't a whole lot though i put this up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. I'm not exactly sure what it's worth. I'm assuming more than that, but we'll see, especially since it needs cleaned up. I don't know how much time and effort that takes. I don't really know how to clean sterling silver. That's something I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it, um, so that's something I'm gonna have to teach myself. Next item, actually already sold as well. This was a bar of Lush soap. I had recently gotten in a subscription box. I sold that just today for a buy it now of $15.99. This came from an estate sale. This is a Forever Crystal perfumed dusting powder. It's still sealed comes with the puff and the powder is still sealed um let's see i think i paid like a dollar for this and i put it up as a buy it now for 39 dollars 99 i had won um a lot of these books at the auction these are by a company called baydecker and these are old um definitely older is there a date in this one I don't know if there's a date in this one probably from like the 1900s they were travel guides so this would be a travel guide for paris there are like pull out maps in here um, and it is all in french these actually sell pretty decently um this one here i listed as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents 
next item I'm gonna pop up over here too just because there's a lot of pieces involved um, this is a Winnie the Pooh set by Royal Dalton Eric and I had I think it's by Royal Dalton I could be wrong anyway you'll see it in my my picture here it's a Winnie the Pooh piece all ceramic um, it's a Christmas tree and then a couple of the characters surrounding the tree um, like they're putting an ornament on there was Christopher Robin Pooh Tigger and I think it's Piglet. Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, Christopher Robin, and the tree. Anyway, won that at an auction for $30, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $119.99. There are none currently listed that has all of the pieces. This piece is complete. Um, there was other people that were selling just one of the figures type of thing. Um, but yeah, so that was a good one. <laughs> I can't remember exactly where I got this guy. Um, this is a Christmas tree topper. It is plastic. It's got a bunch of gold glitter. Very pretty. Um, it does light up still. I don't know who it's made by. I don't see any markings. But it is a nice one. Uh, I listed this. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. These next three pieces came out of that box of toys where the Sweet Secrets doll came from. These are just little unicorn figures. They're kind of like a resin. So it's this one. We got this one. And then we have this one. So I just listed them all together in a lot for a buy it now of $12.99. I think that's buy it now. It could be on auction. I'm not sure. Um, but I thought they were cute. Some people do collect unicorns. Okay, I also have another Sweet Secrets doll. Again, came from the toy box. Um, this one here, her braids were obviously taken out. Um, so I did list her a little cheaper. Um, I put her up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Eric and I recently won this set from the auction. This is a Hallmark keepsake. It's called Santa's Midnight Ride. So it comes with Santa and then there are four boxes of the reindeer. So these are pretty much new. I'm going to post a picture of these two so you can see them a little bit better. Uh, we paid $80 for those at the auction, and I have them listed as a buy it now for $199.99. Um, they have sold that high before, so it might take until Christmas to get them to go, but I definitely do think that they will go. One, this at the auction. Um, he says this is an older, he did his research on this, he said this is an older planter vase um it's made of like pressed cardboard pulp it is marked trump um it's stamped trump in there um but yeah it's like a pressed cardboard planter vase anyway pay one dollar for this and he put it up on auction with a starting price of 19 dollars and 99 cents he said he did see some other ones but they were shaped like christmas bells he said he didn't see any that are actually you know, shaped like a planter. Next piece, also an auction win. This is a Willie Ray Studios piece. I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post a picture so I don't have to dig him out because he's like all in his foam wrap and stuff. We paid $14 for him and I listed him as a buy it now for $59.99. Uh, another one of those Baydeckers books. This one is for London. And this one here, yeah, see this is from 1908, it's marked. And th is this in English? Yeah, this one's actually in English. The really neat thing about this one particularly, I will share it with you guys. Um, whoever owned these books wrote along the sides of some of the pages, like when they visited that area so that's really awesome and this was that's marked 1914 so i listed this one um as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents okay <laughs> nice item came from the auction these things are so cool it's a set of two of these brass sword um these are like hors d'oeuvre hors d'oeuvre picks why do i have such a hard time saying hors d'oeuvre 
uh, but they look like swords. They're so cool. So you can imagine like spearing an olive or something with those. Though, ew, bleh, I don't like olives, <laughs> but I'd, I'd spear a piece of cheese on this. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. Um, they were selling decently. I paid $4 for them, and that was for the both of them. And I put them up as a buy it now for $49.99. Okay, one more Baydeckers book. I think I have one that I haven't listed yet. Uh, I can't remember what country it is, but this one was for Egypt. Uh, this one here is in German, but again, it has all of the pullout um, maps. This one is from 1913. The really cool thing about this one, um, there was an old, there was an old ticket stub in here from a museum that they had gone to. It appears to be an antiquities museum in Cairo, so that's really cool. And then there was also this little like handwritten note in there, but I don't know what it says. <laughs> uh, but I just left them in the book because I thought that was really cool. Uh, this one was actually selling uh, for the most amount. Um, so I put this one up as a buy it now for $49.99. This is going to be a little hard to show. Um, this is super heavy. Um, you know what? Hold that thought pop a picture up of these as well because that was really heavy um those are all made of stone they're stone architectural like building blocks um you know for kids to play with it's like a, a kid's toy i'm pretty sure it's a german german made i won those at the auction for a bid of seven dollars and i listed them for a buy it now of fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents um that would have had a lid for the wooden box that it's in um, so it is missing the lid, but um, those blocks were selling pretty decently. We got another big item here. Um, this is actually a poker set. It's on a wooden, like, revolving uh, display. There are two cards of decks in there, and then all of these poker chips are Bakelite. So this is a really nice piece. Um, pretty desirable. I mean, it's still on its stand and has its cover and everything. Uh, we did pay up for this. Eric paid $140 for this poker set, and we have it listed for a buy it now of $299.99. Okay, so the rest of the items are going to be um, some of more like Avon perfumes, that type of thing. Um, trying to get through, like I said, everything off of my table here which I still have stuff. Um, some of this did sell. Um, let's start, shall we? Uh, first we have this perfume here. This is by Avon. It's called Collection Day Fleurs. Uh, this is listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Next we have this set here. This is also by Avon. It is a becoming set. There's a lipstick in there, a perfume, and some um, face creams. This is listed as a buy it now for $19.99. A bottle of Avon Rare Gold Perfume. This is listed as a buy it now for $14.99. A small bottle of Liz Claiborne Spark Seduction Perfume. I sold a large bottle of this already before. Um, it's a more desirable one. This is listed for a buy it now of $25.99. This is an Avon perfume in the scent Shine, I believe. This is listed as a buy it now for $9.99. I got two of these Avon Yasu Berry Appleberry Body Sprays. So these are listed separately um, as a buy it now for $9.99. This is an Avon Men's Friction Cologne. I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Next one actually already sold. This was the Avon Hawaiian Shores perfume. That sold for $13.99. Um, let's see, we got a small bottle of Curve Dark Soul perfume. This is listed as a buy it now for $12.99. 
This is a bottle of Dior Je Adore perfume. You can see it has been used. Um, this is listed as a buy it now for $13.99. I actually already sold these two perfumes as well. This first one was an Avon Velvet Amari. That's over $9.99. And then we also have one by, um, this is also Avon, by Louis Farad. And that sold for $29.99. An Avon Mark... Um, perfume in the scent instant vacation this smells really really good um, that is listed as a buy it now for $39.99 is by United Colors of Benetton and it is in the scent Tribu um, that is listed as a buy it now for $35.99 got a bottle of Avon Be Tempting perfume listed for a buy it now of $9.99 this is a bottle of Avon Warm Sunshine Perfume listed for a buy it now of $9.99. Really nice. This is Avon. It comes in a black makeup bag. It's still new. And inside is a brand new bottle of Avon Chic in Black Perfume. Um, that is listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Then we got a bottle of Avon Tricell perfume. That's a buy it now of $17.99. I got a bottle of Fire Me Up perfume. I have sold this already in the past. That's listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I got an Avon blush stick in the shade Raisin. That's still sealed. Listed that as a buy it now for $18.99. This set... This set of toys came in the toy box with a sweet secret. These are all Adam's Family toys. Um, they're actually flashlights. Um, each one is a flashlight. They don't work. I don't know how you go into them and like change the batteries. Um, but we got all of these here. So it's a set of four of them. Um, I listed those as a buy it now for $19.99. And then we got these, again, also came from that toy box. I had sold one of the Weeble Wobbles of the baby already from that box. Um, and then I lotted up the rest of these. So this one looks like that. Then we got this little girl and then this little boy. I listed those all together. Um, buy it now for $19.99. The last thing that I'm going to share with you... Um, I bought at a yard sale. Um, I found two fossil purses. I don't have these listed because I'm probably going to keep them, um, which means I'm gonna have to go through like my own <laughs> stash of purses and maybe take some out because <laughs> I have too many bags. Um, but yeah, really beautiful fossil bags. I got this one here. This is just a nice classic brown. I have one very similar to this, but it's a little bit larger than that. And these are in like new condition. So I got that one. And then I also got this one. This one's really cute. This little like satchel uh, fossil bag there. And yeah, like I said, there. And this one actually also has like a longer strap as well. So I paid $10 a piece for those. So $20 for two really nice fossil bags. Um, there was a wallet in one of the bags. This isn't a fossil wallet. This is by, um, is it BCBG? Yeah, it's by BCBG. It's not like the best quality wallet. Oh, there's actually like a thing in here so you can use it as a wristlet if you want to. Anyway, I didn't list this. I was going to just throw it in like my yard sale pile. But if anyone would actually be interested in this, I can list it for you for like I'd put it up as like a buy it now of $5.99 if anyone's actually interested. There is some like loose threading around the zipper part here. I mean, it doesn't affect, at least I don't think, no, it doesn't affect the use of the zipper. Um, so it doesn't affect the use of the zipper, but like I said, if anyone's actually interested, I'll list that for you for $5.99. Um, but anyway, that is everything for this haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize. I kind of like tack on stuff towards the end. It makes for like a longer video, but I really need to get some of this stuff 
you know, off of my table. So if you are still here and you stay till the end of my videos, thank you guys so much for just sticking around. <laughs> it means a lot to me because I know sometimes I get a little bit rambly. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.